Hello everybody, uh, this is Nanjag and I'm going to teach you how to put Android Ice Cream Sandwich on your PC. Now, it's not as hard as it sounds, the only problem is finding the right ISO image for your computer. Uh, as you saw in the video I had, I was running it on the Dell Inspiron Duo and Android X86, which is the developer program which people are working on to get Android on PCs, doesn't do it for my computer, but I messed around with ISO images. Anyway, to get started, you're going to need UNet Bootin, which is a bootable USB key maker, and you're going to need Android um, ISO image, which you want to put onto your computer. Now, first to get UNet Bootin, you go to unetbootin.sourceforge.net, link in the description, and you're going to need to download the program. You can get it for Windows, uh, Linux, or Mac OS X, so it'll work for any operating system that you are using. Second of all, you're going to need to go to androidx86.org, also, link in the description, and you're going to need to go to download. You're not going to need installation or any of that because that's what I'm here for. You're going to go to download, and you're going to, have to, you're going to find the ISO you want to use. Now, this part is quite tricky. There's Android 2.2 all the way up to uh, Ice Cream Sandwich right now, so they've got it to 4.0. Um, they don't release Androids as they come out because they have to do their thing and create the ISO images for PC, but they do not create images for specific, no, there's not really generic ones. See, Sparta is the code name for the Dallas Spiral Duo, so they made this for the Dallas Spiral Mini Duo, see? and that was up to Android 2.2 and then they seem to have stopped working on it for it and that kind of ticked me off but I really really wanted to run Android on my Dell so I tried out every single one of these which to be honest was probably not a good idea trying to install operating systems not compatible for my machine but I went ahead with it anyway and the Chugger Teg Tegra V2 um, ISO image is the one that worked perfectly well with the Dell as you saw in the video. Now once you have that up and running you're going to need to go into unit Bootin. So let me start that up. Yes I want to run it. Here it is. Now I'm not going to do it right now because I don't have a thumb drive at hand I'm sorry but you're going to need to you need to make it a disk image then you need to select the disk image file then you need to find the ISO you downloaded from the androidx86.org website so mine's on my desktop for this and here it is now don't get put off by this virtual clone drive stuff that's just up with my computer it's um... it'll just be a file if it's an ISO it'll be fine now once you do that you're gonna have to click OK and that's gonna... well you have to choose which drive obviously and USB drive. Then you click OK. Then you can need to. F it's going to format your USB stick. So please, 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 if you have any important data on that USB stick, um, be sure you back it up, and then let it run. And click OK. And if you're using that same computer, then you're going to need to turn it off. Then go into the boot menu. And if you're using another computer, eject the stick. And I'll show you that now. Hello, once you've made that bootable USB stick, I have mine right here. Mine is a 4GB, but you'll do just fine with a 2GB. I'm pretty sure it'll work with a 1GB, but just to be safe, I'd go for the 2 Now, you're going to want to put it into the, any available USB port. Pretty simple. Then turn on your device. As I mentioned earlier, mine's a Dance Fire Duo. Then you want to boot into the BIOS. For multiple different computers, it's all different um, buttons. For example, some browsers could be F11, mine's F12, it could be the delete button, um, it could really, really be anything. And you're going to want to find the boot options. You can have it on hard drive, which would be most likely Windows, um, but it could also be your main um, operating system, such as Linux or Mac. And the USB storage drive which we just put in is going to be the boot for the initial running of Android 
See, now you're gonna get a choice of it's saying it's a live CD, but it's a USB. Um, you can run it without installation, or you can install it onto your hard disk. Then, once you're in there, it's gonna ask you to partition all the easy stuff. And then, if you just want to run to check if it works to see if your ISO image is completely compatible with the um, computer you're using, run it without installation. And if you like it, how it goes, see, it's detecting the Android for me. You should be good to go. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and ask any questions. I'm free to, I'm free and willing to answer any of your queries.